Uh, yeah, I think you will. You can do it. You can do it. Just work on it. We we trust you. We believe in you. Mm -hmm, bener banget. So Noval, she said, uh, kita percaya banget Noval bisa ke United States dan ke Korea one day. Uh, don't forget to work hard for that. Okay. Semangat okay, Noval. So. Yeah, makasih. Okay. Probably thank you for your sharing, Noval. Okay. Yes. Thank you for sharing, Noval. I think we can have one more students, I guess. Shema, what do you yeah. think? I think okay. so. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see who turn on the camera. Uh, Rivaldi, mau sharing, Rivaldi. Yeah, Kak. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Which country do you want to visit the most, Rivaldi? Jepang. Uh, uh -huh. Why? Kenapa tuh pengen ke Jepang? He said he want to visit Japan. Okay. That's cool. This is okay. Okay. Ada anime aja di sana jadi jadi suka Jepang gitu. Ah. Okay, cool. You have the same hobby with Shema, actually. Ah, you love you anime. anime. Yeah. High five, my friend. <laughs> we have the same dream destination. Mm -hmm, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Mohamed Rivaldi. Thank you so much for sharing. You're yes, welcome. Thank you so much for sharing. So we're going to move to the next session. Okay, so this is the purpose of our program and Shema will read this for you. So now we're going to talk about the quality of education. We've always, so I will read and then I will explain. So access to education is important, but just as important is actually learning basic knowledge skills in the classroom. So as an example, many children across the world cannot read despite of having attended school for several years. High quality education and, and prerequisite for, uh, for learning and human development. So what this, what this all slide uh, trying to tell us that the, the quality of education is actually as important as education. So for example, you, you might see someone who has been studying for years for years, attending schools, but he ca cannot even read nor write. So that's why the quality of education, like if we don't have quality, well, we don't have education. That's why here in our program, we want to raise awareness of the quality of education. And we will talk about quality. When you talk about quality, it means the environment in which we study in. We want a safe environment. We want to get the, the right information in the right way. Hope you understand me. Okay, I will trust Shema. Jadi di sini tujuan kita adalah meningkatkan kesadaran tentang pentingnya kualitas pendidikan di Indonesia. Seperti yang udah dibilang Shema tadi, banyak nih orang-orang yang udah sekolah selama bertahun-tahun udah datang ke sekolah dari, sorry, Sorry, ya. Dari pagi sampai sore, tapi mereka tuh masih belum bisa baca, mereka belum masih belum bisa nulis gitu. Jadi kehadiran aku dan Shema di sini pengen ningkatin kesadaran teman-teman bahwa pendidikan yang berkualitas itu sangat penting untuk teman-teman miliki dan untuk perkembangan teman-teman di masa yang akan datang. Gitu teman-teman. Yes, that's right. Please turn on your camera, your teacher ask you, yuk teman-teman boleh banget videonya dihidupin udah disuruh sama ibu guru nih teman-teman masa ibu gurunya udah nyuruh nggak mau on cam kan oke, okay. udah disuruh ibu gurunya ibu guru ini mungkin yang on cam bisa dikasih nilai tambahan ya bu nanti di mata pelajaran bahasa Inggrisnya oke okay. we can move to the next session yes. oke okay. oke uh, Okay, the name of our project here is Widya Wiata Project. Jadi, Widya Wiata Project is a volunteering-based education through virtual teaching. 
Jadi Widya Wiyata ini teman-teman adalah sos, uh, proyek sosial yang dia itu tuh berbasis volunteer untuk meningkatkan kualitas pendidikan melalui pembelajaran online. Seperti yang kita lakuin saat ini, pembelajaran online melalui Zoom. Tujuannya apa sih? Tujuannya untuk increasing English awareness in the middle schooler and encourage them to speak English and aware of English literacy. Jadi tujuan kita itu untuk meningkatkan literasi teman-teman semua, terutama literasi bahasa Inggris, dan meningkatkan kesadaran teman-teman betapa pentingnya bahasa Inggris untuk teman-teman punyai di kehidupan teman-teman. Gitu. Oke. Okay. Terus itu selain English awareness, goals kita ada juga untuk meet your teammate, make a new friend with us. Nah, di project ini teman-teman diharapkan bisa temu menemukan teman baru nih. Teman barunya adalah Kak Erisa dan Kak Sheima gitu. Jadi teman-teman bisa nambah teman dan sekaligus meningkatkan English awareness teman-teman melalui project video wiyata. Oke, okay, teman-teman. Sampai sini ada yang ingin ditanyain enggak teman-teman tentang proyeknya? Do you guys have any question about our explanation yeah. due to this project? And I will also want to add something that don't feel shy. Don't uh, we don't care if uh, the sentence like the sentence structure is wrong. It is grammatically wrong or, or anything. Just share and we will correct it. We're here to learn. We are here to make mistakes. Okay. So I think we have the uh, Faida. Faida. Yeah. Faida. Faida. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Boleh langsung unmute aja yang raise hand. Who 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 raise hand? Ya, yeah. tadi teman yang raise hand boleh uh, unmute yourself and speak. Al kalau ada yang ingin ditanyakan boleh banget. Halo. I think there's someone who unmute. Oh ya, yeah. Fayat Fadila. Tadi kalau nggak salah Fayat un uh, raise hand ya. Yeah. Boleh ada yang ingin disampaikan? Oh, ke pencet. Oke. Okay. So, actually the student actually uh, press the right hand button. Okay. So that's why it's pop up. Okay, that is totally fine. Yeah. Okay. And tell them to okay. try to talk in English as much as possible. Okay. Even if okay, the sentence yeah. is grammatically incorrect or anything, we don't mind. We're here okay. to correct it, okay? Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Jadi teman-teman, Shema itu mengharapkan teman-teman untuk bisa ngomong bahasa Inggris sebanyak yang teman-teman bisa, walaupun grammarnya error, walaupun banyak kata-kata yang salah penempatannya, nggak apa-apa banget, tapi please talk in English supaya kita bisa sama-sama belajar gitu. Oke, okay? kita bisa okay. next. Oke. Okay. So what we're going to do here, so from 16 August to 19 August, we have to, to virtual teaching, local volunteers and body will teach students by providing international experience. So uh, for, uh, for at this time, we'll actually try to teach you by providing you an international experience. I will share my culture. You will get to know the Moroccan culture and the upcoming session. And actually, guys, we have so many things in common with Indonesia and Morocco, there are many things in common. Mm -hmm. And so we'll get to know a lot more about culture and about English. Why not? Okay, okay. thank you, Shayma. So, uh, jadi teman-teman, dari tanggal 16 Agustus sampai 19 Agustus 2021, kita bakal ada pengajaran online. Dan uh, di sini kita bakal memberikan kepada teman-teman international experience atau Uh, pengalaman internasional untuk teman-teman melalui body kita, melalui Shema. Shema is from Morocco, as she shared before, dan dia bakal share ke teman-teman tentang budaya di negara dia, dan teman-teman juga diharapkan bisa meningkatkan uh, kesadarannya tentang bahasa Inggris di diri teman-teman sendiri. Gitu. Oh iya, aku mau ngingetin juga kepada teman-teman bahwa di hari keempat nanti, which is uh, August 19, di tanggal 19 Agustus, teman-teman akan uh, diberikan tugas untuk mempresentasikan tentang Lampung ke Sheima. 
Okay. Okay. Diminta untuk mempresentasikan Lampung ke China itu maksimal lima light dan nanti uh, mbak di kelompoknya. Jadi nanti setiap kelompok akan mempresentasikan tentang Lampung kepada Shema diperkenalkan tentang budaya kita. Lalu setelah selain itu kita juga bakal ada English competition teman-teman. Ada perlombaan storytelling dan bahasa Inggris dan teman-teman di setiap kelasnya itu uh, diwajibkan untuk mengirim seenggaknya dua orang partisipan atau dua orang siswa untuk mengikuti lomba storytelling atau pidato tadi gitu teman-teman. So far teman-teman ada pertanyaan nggak ya tentang apa aja nih kegiatan yang bakal kita lakuin selama empat hari ke depan dan perlombaan 